Have you missed me? No. Welcome back to the Daily Misadventures. Yeah, that's what I'm calling them now. My vlog, Josh's vlog. The Daily Misadventures of Josh, me. Uh, I've been off the past couple of days as far as the vlogs go. Sorry. Oh, in we go. Uh, oh, well. Ooh, it smells like cookies in here. I don't know why, but it smells good. Mm. Ah, maybe it's a combination of trash and the spiced pumpkin scent thing that is no longer any good. I need another one. I still need to clean this out. It's all dusty on my dash still. Oh, well. Anyway, what's been going on? I've been offline, obviously, for the past couple of days. Just kind of chilling, basically. We need some time off for ourselves, but, you know, it happens. Anyway, uh, let's see here. What's going on today? I think... Hey, I'm going to go over to Dad and Jennifer's today because me and Dad have some work to do. I got my notebook back there, so we've got stuff we need to do. Plan out and everything like that. Christmas gifts and blah, blah, blah. So we, there is that. And then um, tomorrow, Cash invited us to go to O'Blarney's, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. Um, for UFC 140. Would you like to do that? Absolutely. <laughs> Should be fun. He has started an MMA blog online, cashgrinder.net, link in the description below. Check it out sometime. He's just trying to get himself established and everything like that, so I told him I would be somewhat of an affiliate for him, and so there you go. So cashgrinder.net, be sure to check it out. Um, but yeah, so we got that, and then uh, let's see here. What else we got going on right now? Not a whole lot. Calls are pretty steady today. I'm doing pretty good, and I've got my survey for today, so I'm happy about that. And then uh, just another day, counting down the days to Christmas. It's December the 9th, obviously, so we've got, what is this now? Uh, 22, not 22, where am I thinking? Um, 16 days to Christmas, right? Yeah, 16, I don't know. My goodness, 22. 16 days to Christmas, so a little bit over two weeks left, and uh, I am pretty much done for the most part as far as my shopping is concerned. I do still need to go get some cards for people and everything like that, but we're going to do that sometime, I don't know, today, maybe, I don't know. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so it should be fun. Anyway, I think I'm going to go ahead and get ready to head back here in a moment. I'm going to still check my phone for emails and texts and stuff like that because I could feel it going off and everything. So uh, as long as it's on silent, that's all that matters to me, <laughs> which it is. So um, no. So I'm going to check that out and see what we've got going on. But I will see you in a little bit. So we'll see what happens with the day. I'll be filming another episode of Poor Man's Meals tomorrow, which is fun and exciting. Like I said, ends up being um, not like hugely popular or anything like that. Not like groundbreaking or anything, but I mean, it's fairly popular for small town homeboy like me. So that's not too bad. Still pretty excited about that. What else is happening today? I was reading something in the news. Oh yeah, Chris Benoit. Would you believe that they're making a movie about that? Yeah, I guess it's called Crossface or something like that. And... Um, what is it? Someone wrote a book, um, like the Chris Benoit story, something, something, uh, what's so bad about wrestling or whatever. And basically the movie is all geared and oriented towards not how steroids cause, um, you know, roid rage, which caused the double murder suicide, but, um, brain damage because professional wrestlers take brain damage over the years. So that's, they're, they're not focusing the story around the steroids. They're focusing it around brain damage. Okay. That was four years ago, like four and a half years ago. Is that too soon? I mean, seriously, I don't get that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, is it supposed to be like a documentary kind of style, or is it going to be someone actually acting as Chris Benoit? I don't, I, mean, I don't know. I seriously have no idea, but that's just, I don't know. Bad enough. You know, you got the conspiracy theorists out there who say, you know, that it was not a double murder, suicide, it was a triple murder, or it was a homicide, whatever, and then it was, you know, whatever, and how, uh, you know, an IP address in Stamford, Connecticut, which ironically is the headquarters of WWE, printed that Chris Benoit was found murdered 
according on or IP on Wikipedia printed from Stanford, from Stanford, Connecticut printed that Chris Benoit was found murdered like 13 minutes before the official re release or something like, or 13 hours before the official release. So, you know, conspiracy theorists there and everything. It's like, <sighs> why? Yeah, I don't know. I, all I know is that I read that in the news and it got me in a frenzy. So I'm just like, whatever. WWE isn't going to have anything to do with that. I mean, they don't mention them or anything like that. What is it? The There's been basically two DVDs where they really haven't had much choice at all but to show Benoit. And that was in the very best of Nitro and the three-disc edition. If you watch the edition on Netflix, it only shows like just a breakdown and he's not on there. But if you actually get the three-disc set of Nitro, there's like a four horsemen bit there. And like they pretty much had no choice but to show him. And also on the uh, Greatest Rivalries DVD with Bret Hart and Shawn Michaels, like you can see him... Um, in the background because he was like sitting right behind Brett the entire night or whatever so like any other DVD or anything like that he's always been like just like the first TLC match to take place on Smackdown on a te on a televised event was on Smackdown and Benoit was part of it and when they showed that on the best of Smackdown DVD they didn't show like they showed portions of the match but not a single bit of the match showed Benoit and they didn't mention his name or anything like that but those two DVDs are like the only ones since 2007 that have showed him or said his name in some way. So WWE certainly isn't going to have any connection with the project, that's for sure. But how do you feel about that? I mean, do you think that's too soon? I mean, seriously. Holy crap, I don't know. It would have to be a documentary style. They can't possibly do that. No, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to head back and uh, finish off the day because the day is almost done. And then uh, we'll just go from there. I'll text Dad and see what he's got going on tonight. And uh, we'll see. So I'll see you in like an hour and a half or so. It's not much longer. So see you in a bit. Why is it that temperature has to be this overly controlling overlord in our lives? It is freaking beautiful out right now. And it's freaking cold. Okay? You recall seeing my vlogs back in like September or even just any videos that I did back in June or July and it looking identical to this outside? Then why is it freezing? Why? It's like 34 degrees outside. It's disgusting. It's the sun is out and it's freaking cold. I mean, that's nasty. Why is it gotta be like that? I can't even pull up the weather on my phone because it says it's not loading. This is just irritating. You know what? Let's just get out of here now. Ah! Sun! Oh boy, bright sun inside now. All right, well, we're gonna go pick up Jada from the bus stop because we're nice. That, and I don't mind doing it because it's not very often that I actually do get to do it. I used to do it all the time whenever I lived here, of course, but um, things change. Uh, this time two years ago, working at Big Lots part time and you know, picking up Jada from the bus stop certainly wasn't out of the ordinary doing it pretty much every day But then of course ACS came along and things changed and I moved and The rest is history so But we're gonna go ahead and pick her up And then we're gonna go back home and go from there I've got some work to do with dad and the projects and stuff like that and well not a whole lot of work work or anything like that But we got to figure out what we want to do for certain things so I will see you as soon as I get Jada. Hey, stop videoing me! Crazy? Huh? Oh, no. What? Stop videoing me! You have a nice day? Yes. Yeah, what'd you do today? Art. Art? Mm -hmm. Let's go home. Oh, I forgot Jack's cereal. Oh, it's 
the way you have to prove that you're spending too much money on your car insurance. So, this is how it was. I'm going to check. This one by 21st. I'm just practicing because I, I, I really can't really do these so well, but I'm trying to practice. Took forever for the air to come out of that. What? That took forever for the air to come out of it. I know. Man, you've got you it all gross. It Not a good balloon. What? Not a good balloon. Hey, our friend gave me Well, that was good fun, wouldn't you say? We watched the Charlie Brown Christmas special there for a little bit. I missed getting my dad on video doing the dance. You know, there's always that kid there who's dancing really weird. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Dad likes to do that dance. I missed it. Good night. Hello.